In this lesson, we'll take a quick look at how we can use Taper in 3ds Max. So let's say we have an object and we'd like to taper that. So what that means is we want to scale it, but we want to scale one end more than the other end. And maybe even have a little bit of a curve, a curve transition between those two ends. So we can go ahead and select our piece of geometry here. And under the modifier list, we'll just choose taper. Okay, and that will give us our modifier here. And so under the parameters, we have the amount. So if we go ahead and just with the default settings, dial that amount up, you can see that I can taper out that top. So it's basically tapering at the top, leaving the bottom. I can go ahead and change that down to a negative amount to do the opposite. Okay, I can also change the primary axis. So if I want to taper it along the y-axis, the x-axis, or the z-axis. All right. And this is the uh, plane that the effect is happening on. So in this case, we're going along the z-axis. We want the, ef the effect to happen on both of the other axes, so x and y. In this case, it's only happening along the y. In this case, only along the x. Okay, so if we go ahead and change that up, it's only happening in that one axis. So let's go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller. Now, right now, it's a straight line from this point to this point. But let's say we want to add a little bit of curve to that. So we can go up here to Curve. If we give that a positive amount, you can see it bulges that out. So we get one effect using that. If we go ahead and dial it down, it actually creates something more, uh, more concave there. So we can go ahead and pull that in. Okay, and we can really get something more extreme there just by using that curve. We can also limit the effect if we want to from the top or bottom. So we would choose limit and then on the upper limit we could dial that up. So you can see how that limit's affecting that and then you can also dial up the lower limit as well if you want to have a lower limit there for how that taper is actually affecting the model. If you don't want to limit that effect you can go ahead and just turn that off. Okay. Again just like any modifier you can turn that off Take a look at what that looks like. Okay, and that will allow you to come in and taper your objects. If you take the gizmo, you can move that around to get different effects as well. You know, rotate that around to get something really customized. All right, and so just play around with the taper amount. Okay, just scaling it differently from top to bottom. And then the curve is the transition between the top and the bottom. The axis is the axis along which that deformation is happening. And then the effect is whether that's being eff affecting both of the other axes or just one or the other. Okay. And then you've also have the ability to limit the effect. So anytime that you want to come in and deform an object like this, tapering from one end to another, make sure that you take a look at the taper modifier in the modifier list.